Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have so much on my desk. This is the Cherry on Top YouTube Hop. I am trying to do an art journal spread, <laughs> but I have so many ideas. Um, so where I'm at, you know me in a good flower. Okay, I, I recently hauled this. I wanna use it, but I still have this random piece of the tissue paper that's the collage element that's the same one. So I'm like, well, Anybody can use that instead of worrying about stamping. I have Alpha Spur Title. These are my favorite ones. I hauled those a while ago. But then I have like this Thinlet set and these two stencils that I haven't used. That I'm like, okay, if I put down color, then this, then stencil, that could get like a nice rich layered look, right? And I have these. These I splattered in my splat box not too long ago, but I haven't used them yet. So then I was like, oh, okay. I have this set, this uh, Always Smile, the stamp, the die, and the layered stencils. So instead of using the layered stencils, I was like, let me just stamp and emboss on the orangey one. And we can make the leaves because that'll be easier. So that'll be like my flower topper <laughs> but then I really like this and I was like oh I can cut this down but I was like oh I can spray on into this books but we can use this for like these flowers because that'll be like easy to add <clears throat> and then I had hauled this the last time just as die cuts and this and I also hauled this like like the stamping could be good but then I also love these flat leaves and it's fall, but you know me, I always like a bright, I'm, I'm a flower th child through and through, you know? So maybe we should already eliminate that because we're just gonna do flowers and maybe I, I don't need that. So let's spray down this with a bluey, dark blue background. I'm thinking blue with the orange could be good. Or orange goes with what else? I don't wanna do red, that'll be too much, like a purple purpley background now let's do blue okay let's blue this out and then let's emboss this on here and cut these out this will be blue that'll be on top we'll foil this i'm uh, not foil once the blue dries put this on it in some way stamp a little and we'll do a little stencil stenciling on the edges or something with some stencil butter Okay, I think we've narrowed it down. So this is our monthly YouTube hop. The theme for this month was gather. So I'm kind of gonna be stretching the symbolism for that, like gather your our media supplies, gather flowers for our bouquet. We're gonna be doing some gathering, all right? And we'll maybe use that word for the title of it um, as well. So let's be good. Where's my recent splat box okay so i found my splat box and put tissue paper so that the color doesn't get on all the other pages and we are going to town now i have the stress stain this one is in sapphire in one of the dauber ones i don't believe these are made anymore and i did a very thick coat and then afterwards when i'm trying to add in the inks it really didn't take too many of the other stains that I have. So then I went and got my oxides and I was like, let me try the oxides to get that white chalky milky film from there. And those didn't work really either. But then I went and got my mica sprays and these are the mica ones. So they're pigment plus the shimmer and these started to work. So don't get me wrong. I have maybe like eight colors in those daubers that I really feel like they, I won't use them as the dauber. I need it in the spray. So I might get a little, those little like travel size spray bottles and transport the ink into there because as a dauber, it was just such an opaque saturation of the paper and they really didn't mix with each other. Now also the, probably what led to that too is I didn't gesso this page. Maybe if I would have gessoed it, they would have interacted more rather than staying such um, such opaque laid down color. So it's it's neither here nor there. It's just something I learned with the daubers that I might make an executive decision and change them all. So I let all that dry 
and you saw I had like all sorts of colors. So the, the layering, those papers were wet. So those had to dry definitely. So while they dry, let's work on our stamping. So I already did these. I told you like probably last week, I think I posted it in the cherry, um, cherry crafters group that I made these papers. What do I do with them? They've still been sitting in my room. I haven't used them until now. Um, either of the pages would have worked. This one was more orange and pink. The other one was like a rainbowy. I should have maybe done the rainbowy too, but we went with this one. Neither right, no wrong. And the other one was kind of greeny. The greeny one I do, you'll see me use some of like my leaf uh, dyes to cut some leaves out. That worked out fine too. So we used two of the papers for this. I mean, for this one, this one was literally like a hodgepodge of like all my supplies. What can I use? What didn't I use? What else can I use? And that's part of the fun with, I guess, art journaling in my experience is that you just get to play with the supplies you have um you know i i buy the inks and the sprays and i just want to use them as often as i can so if i can make a splatter or make a spritz i'm gonna do that and even for this one too like i made sure to get like different areas and use the different there's two different flower stamps so one is a little bit bigger than the other and i am just heat embossing it using versamark that's the clear embossing powder but i know you can emboss with other stamp pads as well as long as there's something, I forgot what the, the, the part in the ink pad is that adheres to the powder and then you just melt it like usual. So I just tend to always go for the Versamark, which is the clear one. And it worked out great. And then I run all this through with the dies on my manual die cutting machine. And that took some time. So I did that off camera so you didn't like see me do that part. But you under, you know, I think I was demo a few of it. So I just cut it down. Um. But the manual die cut, like, I'm in love. I'm in love with my manual die cutting. I don't know how I lasted so many years with just my cutter bug because this one and the cutter bug, night and day. Like, I am not getting carpal tunnel from this die cutting machine. Uh, this is the one from Spellbound, Spellbinders, I want to say. Um, and I just have magic mats. Those are from scrapbook.com I want to say um it does come with it, its own mats um these are just kind of like kind of like my desk mat they're self what do they call it self-healing mats so you don't get all the constant slices into it but they kind of still slice you know it, 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 it I, I I fell for the gimmick <laughs> your normal cutting mats will do so once I have all my flowers set to the side I go ahead and start collaging on the collage paper with those big bold flowers and so the big bold flowers are amazing. This is from Tim Holtz, so the ideology one, and I'm using matte gel medium. Um, I've hide in bulk now with how much I go through that the little pots once in a while from Ranger just, you know, those will last me a month or two. So I buy it. <laughs> this is literally like a liter's worth, half a liter's worth of matte gel medium. That's how much I need glue. <laughs> So they do still look stark white to me. Um, so you'll see that I go back in with those sprays right to the right of me in the blues and just kind of um, blew up the edge of the paper so that it looks more blended into the background. That was just a preference because um, I still saw it. So truly, I think what normally would happen, collage your papers down first, then do your inks on top. And that way they look like they're already a part of the background. So next time I would do the steps um, out of order. But neither here nor there. Once again, like I just splatter it up, blued it up, and they blend it in, as you can see at the top of the page when I have it resting. So then I'm still thinking, okay, our theme is gather. So let me take those Dina Wakely Alpha, their block alphas. I hauled these earlier this year. They were a new release from Dina Wakely. I don't know if they're still available, but I'm doing it with the green, it's called Green Tinsel. It is by Ranger. And this one turned out so good. Now, normally I think I have this one in my collection for Christmas time, but it worked because I was leaning into this blue green background for this thing. So I stamp block it all on vellum. I heat emboss it too. The vellum works and just stamp out the word gather. I'm so sorry. It's off the screen. I didn't even realize I did it off the screen, off my screen, but there are all the letters stamped out and it's a little bit off, you know, this happens, you know, like stamping for me. It is not an exact science. There is some irregularity, that human era element. and But it worked out great on vellum. This vellum is from Hobby Lobby, I believe, that sticker said. Hobby Lobby. Um, because I have bought vellum via like Amazon, I just haven't bought the right one because the other ones feel almost like tissue paper and they're so light. Like this, this one has a better weight to it. So I don't know if you have a better vellum that we've tried on Amazon, but let me know. So far, the packs that I've bought, 
you know, and you have to buy a pack of like 50 sheets. So I'm still going through it, but it's not my favorite. So anytime I'm in Hobby Lobby, I'll buy a couple sheets when they are half off. And that one has just a better weight. That's just me as a crafty person realizing that. <laughs> so here I am auditioning out where I want the flowers to be and those leaves that I cut out from the leafy, you know, modeled uh, paper I showed you. And then I'm going to cut, cut out gather. And I like it on the right side, so it shall stay. But I'm still like, ugh, there still needs something. So you see right on the side there on the right, I have neon pink paint and or stencil butter. Or it's lunar paste. So I go in with hot pink lunar paste. That's through the speckled part. I thought about adding the leaves in it, but I just wanted a little bit more of a pop of color to bring out those bright orange flowers so that it looked like it blended into the background a little bit more. I went randomly on this. It's not perfect because that stencil kind of touched other areas and then I got better about lifting it. You know, tomato, tomato, it, it's okay. I, I go with it. And sometimes that messiness, you need to embrace it. This is an art journal. This is to practice. Have some fun. Have some fun. <laughs> so all this has to dry. All this has to dry. I let it dry. Came back to it a couple hours later because, like I said, between the wet ink of the paper, the wet gel medium, and then me adding that stencil butter on top, this needed time to dry before I wanted to glue all this stuff in. So I let that dry, and this is me using, this has now become my favorite glue recently for some reason, the Beacon Fabri-Tac. It just works good. It's alcohol-based ink, not water, so it doesn't warp the paper I'm working at with, and it, does, it helps. And it, it adheres anything. It says, like, it can work with uh, fabrics, lace, glass, leather, wood, and trims, and permanent, permanent bonds. Okay, that's good for me. <laughs> And so I do all of that, and I love the way everything is looking. And then in my fine line bottle, I will add the same glue to the stamped out gather word, and I add the glue behind the green tinselly part so that the glue won't shine through when it dries um, with the vellum. So it was just something I kept in mind, and it came out fantastic. Those glitter letters, they look really good. <laughs> Okay, that will wrap up this fun art journal page. I pretty much did everything and then some on this page <laughs> for it to come out the way it did. Oh my gosh. I mean, this paper truly got like saturated with inks. <laughs> so everything will dry, but I liked adding the, this definitely helped make things pop some neon um, paste just for some pop a color because these were so bright that I just wanted to add some more color and that did good and then the gather with the green tinsel oh that shimmer is so nice so I will leave everyone linked down below for our YouTube hop the theme is gather and I'm sure like every month there's tons of inspiration and fun um projects and remember comment on every video for your chance to win a $25 gift card to a cherry on top if you are new to my channel please subscribe give this video a thumbs up and until next time everyone bye